Hi, I'm Marshall Powers of State Supply. Today I'm going to be repairing a Skidmore 57110 seal kit. So let's get started. All right, before we start replacing the seal kit on this, we wanna make sure that we lock it out, isolate it from the system, and really important to disconnect it from the power. So to get started repairing the, your Skidmore pump, we're gonna need a 7 16 wrench, a 9 16 socket, and then just a flathead along with, uh, fill yourself up a small cup of some soapy water, just for lubrication. And then of course, you're gonna need your seal kit. To get this Skidmore pump repaired, we're gonna need to get the pump and motor assembly removed from the volute. First step is to get this pump vent line disconnected. So to do that, you just take our 7 16 wrench and loosen that up. So now that that is disconnected. Now the next step is just to take the, uh, the motor bolts off. Okay. Now this will come out nice and easy or it may not. Uh, when I pull these apart, a good step is just grab a flathead and go up and try to pry underneath lightly. And you'll have to come around and do that all around this. Sometimes that the gasket will be sticky. And even if you pick this up, this whole assembly will stay together. So it's important to come in here with your flathead and just pry that open. And then once that comes off, if it's not sticky, it'll pull off just like that. So now we have our motor and impeller pulled out, all disconnected. And we don't need the blue to set this to the side. We're gonna to need to remove the drip cover from the back of the motor. Just need a little flathead screwdriver. And we'll remove these. Okay, so now you got your drip cover removed. You can set that to the side. <clears throat> and here's where it gets a little bit tricky. You can see we have a lot going on in there. But what you need to do is you need to get your 7 16 wrench, the open side of it. You need to get underneath and lock into the back of the motor shaft. Now there's two flat sides on the motor shaft, kind of like a keyway that you can latch your wrench onto. So what I'm doing is going under this black piece here. And obviously this whole motor shaft is spinning freely with the impeller. So what you can do is I'm coming underneath that black piece and I'm gonna twist this impeller until my wrench locks in place. There you go. So you hear that? So now that I have the wrench on the back side, I've fixed the motor shaft and now I can set this on its side and then just twist this counterclockwise, the impeller, and it'll come right off. Easy peasy. We'll set this to the side. And next you're gonna have your gasket here. And as we've showed in other videos to just get that removed, this is a, a new pump, so it should come off pretty easy. But in the field, you're gonna have to probably work at it a little bit. There might be some remnants of the gasket Make sure you get all that taken off. And actually some of this did stick, even though it's brand new. You 
to here, I'm going to clean off the rest of the gasket from the volute side. Okay, so now we are going to remove the spring part of the seal. Pop that out, set that aside. And then we're going to take this plate off which has the ceramic piece along with the boot in there. And we can flip this over and gently take a flat head. And press around. And that came out nice. So here's what a used boot, the rubber piece, and here's the ceramic piece. So now we can set those aside because we'll be replacing these. So besides pulling out the ceramic piece along with the boot, we're just going to check the slinger here. And this does come, the kit comes with a replacement for this, so you can check this and see if it's tight, firm, and then it's not chipped up or anything. And as you can see, this one looks pretty good, so we can reuse that. Otherwise, you can pitch this because there's one in the replacement kit. So I'm just going to put this back on for now. Make sure that sits in nice and flush. Now it's time to put in the ceramic piece as well as the boot into here. So I'm going to unbox our kit here for our seal kit. And you're going to have your gaskets. And you only need one of these, which is going to be this one. This is for a different pump. And then we have our slinger here, which you can use if you want. Otherwise, just reuse the existing if it's in good condition. So we have our gasket here. And then we have the spring portion of the seal kit. And I'll unbox that, show you what that looks like. So here is the, the boot, the rubber boot, as well as the ceramic piece. Be careful not to touch the ceramic face. You want that free of any oil and debris. And then, here's the spring portion of the seal kit, you can see there. So we need to lubricate the outside of the boot to get this to fit, because it's a, it's a press fit, so I'm going to take my finger and just dab a little bit of just dish soap on the exterior, it's really slippery, so be careful, and make sure not to get any on the seal face, the carbon face. So I'm going to drop this in here, being careful not to touch the top of it. If you do touch the top of the seal, make sure you wipe it down. And I'm going to use a paper towel and lightly press on this to get it to go fit in. and kind of work your way in a circular motion, applying light pressure until it starts to seat. All right, now that's sitting nice and flush. So next step, so our slinger's in place. We're gonna drop this over, okay? And now next, we need to put on the spring portion. So, we're going to take this here. And we want the metal side up. And this you're fine to touch. Just make sure it seats off properly so that the top of the seal is flush with, there's a ledge on the shaft 
make sure those surfaces are flush together and that's flush now okay so before we connect the motor to the volute we want to make sure to put our gasket on right every time you take this apart you should replace your gasket make sure that that both the surfaces are flush and clean and we'll just pop that on and before we put these together let's get this impeller tightened back on So we'll just finger tight and thread that on now, but to get the impeller fully tight, you need to lock the nut on the back side. Just doing the same in reverse as I did to get the impeller loosened. There we go, locks in place. I'm going to continue to tighten that down. All right, now this will tighten to a point where you can't tighten it anymore. I mean, if I went any further, it would strip the threads on this. This is just a plastic impeller, so you'll reach that point where it's tight. Now we can mesh the pump with the volute. set this here and keep in mind that this needs to be lined up properly there we go next step get that vent line connected. It is flexible, but it's difficult to move around. All right. So we'll use a 7 16 wrench to lightly torque that down. Doesn't need to be super tight, but just don't want it coming loose. And lastly, all we have to do is, well, not lastly, put these nuts back on. And then after that, in a star pattern, we can come and tighten these on. Okay, and last step, we're going to put the motor cover back in place, and you just have two screws you need to made up, pretty easy. Except for, want to make sure that we have the, the opening, the conduit, open with this side. This one. Hey everyone, thanks for joining us today. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, like the video, and follow for more to come.